Ugh, I don't feel like studying. Honestly, same. No matter how much you know you should study, it feels like you cannot physically get yourself to do it. Yeah, I honestly cannot remember if I ever felt like studying. I literally sent Snapchat stories with captions, stu dying. <laughs> However, we're gonna get you on the right track together because as a study hater who eventually became valedictorian and got fives on all 11 of my AP exams, I, of course, had to learn to study when I didn't feel like it. Hey team, it's Amy. I got so many comments from you saying things like, it's hard to keep your motivation up and not slack off. So I got you bestie. The most effective solution is a combination of mindset and actions. So make sure to stick to the very end of the video where you're gonna get an essential mindset that will change your life. And I have a big channel announcement, so stay tuned. Let's go. You're going to love this first tip because you already do it, but we're gonna make it beneficial. Procrastinate productively. Sometimes it's way too daunting to start studying the giant textbook or your notes. So what I'll do is that I'll start off slow to get myself on a roll. I will look over what I have planned for the rest of the week in my digital planner, be aware of all the deadlines and other tasks I have to do. Get other assignments and exams on my radar. So it creates a sense of urgency while I'm procrastinating. And so it'll push me to start the big studying. Another thing I do is if I'm supposed to be studying chemistry, for example, I'll start to organize my notes for that same class. This eases myself in by feeling like I've already made progress and decreases that activation energy. When I start with the easier thing like organizing my notes and work, I'm so close to them anyway, so might as well start studying them and doing the homework. It's kind of like tricking yourself, but in the best way possible. <laughs> Two, visualize the ideal version of yourself. Perhaps you have a big A plus from the last time you studied. Tape that on your wall above your desk or set it as your phone lock screen so you have a visual reminder of what's possible when you do study. If you don't have a visual yet, imagine your ideal self and what results they have. Imagine your great achievements and really just feel how happy your future self feels. They will no longer feel the temporary struggle of studying, only how amazing the grade feels and how it's gonna be permanently part of their transcript. The point is so you remember my mantra from many of my school years, pain is temporary, results are forever or grades are forever. To keep myself going when the times were tough, I actually told myself this all the time. I even wrote it in my planner one year as my mantra. See, even I consider studying as pain. I did call it studying after all. But you see, the thing is that it's not really pain. Real pain is feeling regret after getting a bad grade and getting another bad grade and then not getting into the college you want and then not getting the jobs and opportunities you want down the line. Real pain is the bad results compounding more and more and more just because you try and avoid the studying pain. From the seven habits of highly effective people, begin with the end in mind. Like I am so, so grateful that I worked hard even when I didn't feel like it because that got me a 4.0 at one of the hardest universities in the world. I didn't even realize how valuable this was in the moment, but that hard work helped me get into MIT for grad school and a competitive consulting job. You can actually see the value of your degree yourself. For example, if I fill in my GPA, school, year, and major on case-score.com, I get a free case score that tells me how my degree compares to others while job searching. If you're in college or finished a degree, your case score is important because it shows the value of your schooling. You can use Case's free platform to contextualize your college degree and show recruiters the actual value of it, way beyond the GPA. This is especially relevant for foreign students, as well as students from lesser known colleges to gain proof and validation of your hard work. So just because someone didn't get into Harvard doesn't mean they're any less qualified. They use a huge global data set and know which schools have great inflation. Statistically calculated a scientific score for your degree. Case works with around 500 companies globally, including top ones like McKinsey, Deloitte, DHL, and Porsche to help you land the job you deserve. You can get your case score for free at case-score.com. Thanks to Case for sponsoring this video so I can keep making helpful content for you. Always keep in mind what you're fighting for because if you don't sacrifice for what you want, then what you want becomes the sacrifice. Three link to something enjoyable. I know many people say to give yourself a reward after you've done the task, but sometimes it's pretty effective to treat yourself before. Often I would come home from school and you know, it's been a long day. So I'd think, hmm, 
I would love to take a break and have the sweet taste of mooncake in my mouth right now. And you know what? I deserve it because I know I'm going to be grinding after. After I eat my little snack and I make myself happier before I do the daunting thing, then I feel like I satisfied my craving. And so I owe it to the universe now to actually start studying. And so you have to give yourself the little reward with the intention of what you're gonna do immediately after. That's the best way where you can do something enjoyable before you start studying. However, 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 you have to make sure this enjoyable thing has a set time. Like eating that piece of mooncake has a finite time because I cannot be nibbling on it forever. Or maybe you can watch one YouTube video, but that is given that you have the self-control to close that tab immediately after. The other way to make an enjoyable link is to choose a concurrent form of enjoyment. For me, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that that is music. I am just jamming along. Living in the Hall of Fame. Something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. I close my eyes and the flashback starts. That's what makes you beautiful. Number four, consume motivational content. I talked about how drive is more important than motivation in this video. Drive is your fire inside you. It's the deepest reason for why you want to achieve something. But sometimes we need little sparks of motivation to keep your fire going. Many of you say you struggle with social media addiction, but also struggle with deleting it completely. So let's shift it into something that helps you. Brilliant. You can turn your phone and the internet into something you can leverage by curating your feed. You can literally do this right after this video. Stay focused for now, okay? Don't pull out your phone and do this yet, but go into your following list and unfollow all the people who make you feel less productive, jealous, that do not have the same values that you want to portray. You can even be productive when you're scrolling through social media because when you get to something, you can choose whether this is interesting to you or or not. For example, if you come across motivational content, then engage with it. Comment and like it so more of it will show up. If something is silly and decreases your IQ when you watch it, then block them or say you're disinterested in this type of content. There's a lot of power and just a few taps. They can either harm you or help you, so use the buttons to your advantage. Five, the golden mindset. The deepest solution that addresses the root of the problem. Some of you comment, I've literally tried everything, every single tip on the internet, and I still can't get myself to study. Well, honey, if you can't, no one can. The reason why it's so hard is because you're thinking of discipline as force. Nothing beautiful is ever forced. If every single molecule in your body is feeling resistance to do something, then heck, you're not gonna do it. The funny thing is, that a lot of people call me disciplined, but I actually don't think of myself that way because discipline has the connotation of being extremely hard and like you're forcing yourself to do something you don't want to. But I realized discipline is easier for me because it is not forcing yourself to do something. Instead, discipline is having clarity of what you want. When you want something so badly and value it more than all the little distractions in your life, why would you not take action toward it? That is the golden mindset. Just like you have been commenting when you watched this video, reframing discipline is so powerful. This was alluded to in tip two when I said begin with the end in mind. People say, don't think too much about the destination. Enjoy the journey. But when studying is the journey, it's really hard to enjoy it. When I didn't feel like studying, it helped me to start studying and continue studying when I constantly think about being done with a test or done with that piece of homework. I'm so excited and ready for that destination, so I push through that journey because I just want to get to the result so much. And sometimes that's really the way to get her done because if studying was easy and enjoyable, then everyone would be doing it and a star student wouldn't exist. But Consider yourself lucky because that star student is possible and that's gonna be you. I meant to say it in a more motivational, inspiring way, like that's gonna be you, but I end up being a little weird, so forgive me. I'm in a goofier mood than usual and trying to 
show the real me more. I don't know if that's a good thing. And especially because I'm wearing one of my favorite clothes today. But all jokes aside, know that I believe in you. And truly, if you're watching my videos and resonate with what I say, then you're already ahead of so many of your peers. Trust me, not everyone will take the time to want to self-improve like you are. Amazing job, A team. Pat yourself on the back and remember to get your free case score at case-score.com to see the value of your degree. Also remember that in every single one of my videos, there are helpful resources linked in the description box, so make sure to check them out. Okay, until next time, A team. Peace. Hello, one more thing. Maybe you've noticed if you've been here a while, but I've changed my channel name to my full name. Ooh, full name reveal. And it's gonna be Amy Wang, not Wamey anymore because some people thought it was confusing and it was W Amy, but it will always be our inside joke that I get W's as Amy. And my username will still be Wamey with two Y's and a five. Love you all. And I hope you'll give lots of love to this video and to the channel because I work so hard on everything to help you.